and dada. Me all DJ, me suck at a dan dada. Go go tell it to your sister, your brother and mother. In the 90s, Super Cat helped bring Jamaican dancehall music to a global audience with hardcore bad boy tunes like Boops, while collaborating with Criss Cross, Sugar Ray, and Notorious B.I.G. Don Dada, as he is sometimes called, has been absent from the music industry for more than a decade. Super Cat said there are reasons why he went on a pause. He cited travel restrictions along with the death of his longtime manager Fred Donner as the primary reasons for his break, but continued that Dance Hall was taking a different turn. He alleged that Fred Donner was poisoned through weed in Jamaica. If you haven't done so yet please subscribe to the channel for the best of the Caribbean celebrity news from around the globe. On the plane, 15 minutes before I land on Kennedy Airport, my manager said to me, Cat, they messed me up, you know. I myself was feeling out of my mind for the first time. I never feel so light-headed in myself. I'm wondering what is happening. I'm here, but I'm not here. Then I said to him, what happened, Mr. Fred? He said, listen, man, it is not it's in the food, it's in the drink, but I sure it's in the weed. I watched him die slowly for eight weeks. So in other words, you're, I mean, I mean, something. The man said to me, he was poisoned. He asserted that he had to go away for a minute with an empty plate and old iron gate and wait on the most high for a sign to return to the industry. He said when he started in dance hall in the 1980s, it was poking fun at sugar daddy relationships that you can hear on the boops track or breaking down third world geopolitics like on the single under pressure. Super Cat was born William Anthony Murridge on June 25, 1963 to an Afro-Jamaican mother and an Indo-Jamaican father in Kingston. Jamaica. He released his first single Mr. Walker in 1981, that established his recording career. He went on to record Ya Thomas, but his career was interrupted by a period of incarceration. After his release, he began working with Early B on the Kilimanjaro sound system in 1984, and his debut album, See Boops There was released in the mid-1980s which included the hit single Boops. This album established his style of dance hall with conscious lyrics. At the beginning of the 90s, Cat relocated to New York and signed with Columbia Records, where he released two albums, Don Dada in 1993 and The Struggle Continues in 1995. His mainstream break came in 1997 when Sugar Ray featured him on their massive single Fly. Unfortunately, he faded from the music scene not long after that. A planned comeback project was in the works in 2002 with Farrell Williams' Neptunes, who signed him to their Arista record imprint Star Track, but it was eventually aborted. He made a few appearances over the years with the Dawn of Dawns featuring Jada Kiss and Styles P, from the Neptunes' 2003 album Clones, as well as a handful of mixtape tracks and an appearance on 112 Neptunes produced, Na Na Na. Cat said that after the deal fell through he returned the money to Arista because he did not want to have people's money and he is responsible for what he can deliver. Don't deliver because I believe in good work and quality, honesty, dignity. That is my motto that I stand for in this business. He said that Sean Paul, along with Nas, have kept him from sinking financially by sampling his singles dance in a New York and life is good. He further elaborated that it was his old friend Shaggy who convinced him to return to the stage in August of 2013 for a surprise cameo at Hot 97's on the Reggae Tip event at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. He said Shaggy came to him and said, I heard you're having a rough time and I want to reintroduce you and make the people know that you didn't die. Cat was on hand for the 30th anniversary of Jamaica's Dance Hall Fest, Sting which he performed alongside Beanie Man, Sizzla. Wyclef and a host of other artists. The venue did not go unnoticed by his fans because his most legendary performance took place at the same site in 1991, where there was a heated clash, a lyrical battle with his musical rival Ninja Man. Super Cat made a quiet comeback in September of 2020 when he released Push Time. However, the single failed to make any significant waves on the reggae charts. 
he has also been making rounds on various radio stations shedding light on what he thinks is a conspiracy to assassinate him because of unclaimed royalty funds. 1996, Fox 5, Barry Supercat Alive, which is Fox 5 News. What do you mean by that? I was here in my basement near Mr. Fred Donner when I get a call from a good friend of mine who was running Jam Rock Club and a manager who was managing Dennis Brown called me and said, Squeeze, turn on your TV, which they were referring to me, Supercat, and look at yourself dead on Fox 5 channel. Now, when I was looking at Fox 5, they were having a news bulletin saying Supercat William Maraud was robbed and shot in Brooklyn, New Lats, and was pronounced dead on arrival at Kings County Hospital. When I look out there on the television, I saw hundreds of people out there by Rockaway and Linden Boulevard to see the last remain of Supercat. I just a puff and I spliff and I said to my to address this, you know. I'm going to watch to see what's going to become of this and if this is a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, years goes on and I as from them time I start to put up with difficulties in the music business because at that time I walked away from Columbia Record because of internal conflict which wasn't beneficiary to us when we were signed there. We were undermined by a system and it wasn't the label but the small people who work inside were always getting in the way of business because they don't know how to share and to communicate with each other. So it was pressuring the artists because of people couldn't carry out their part of the work properly. They couldn't agree with each other right. and they were product manager and they were A&R but they were fighting, causing conflict and not representing star. But anyway, to make a long story short, I walked away for many years and I watched the industry slowly, slowly try to destroy us and undermine us in the reggae segment, not giving us any representation at the majors, but they would sign us from time to time. God bless Sean Paul, I see him go on to get a good blow and take off like a rocket. Sure. Hope them have something in his pocket. Cat further said that three assassination attempts that were made on his life he thinks is in connection with unpaid royalties from his previous works because he received correspondence from the royalty office seeking copies of his death certificate. Supercat been coming out of Jamaica with this reggae, dancehall, original thing, you know, we come way back from the days of Yellow Man, Josie Wheel and all of that come right up. Well, while I was signed to Columbia Record and was there with my great friend Shabarankin and them guys doing great things, you know, for a minute there, then we walk away, squeeze, and try to do our own independent thing. Right, and of course you get a fight. Yeah, well, because, you know, I we from Bob Marley. Bob Marley was getting the same fight, God bless him soul. And when I was a little, when I was a little youth, sitting down watching him roll him split when him called him Ziggy, and I hear him say, he was talking to Never Willoughby, and him say, I take a trip go up to Europe, you know. And I said, I'm after the music, you know. Mm. So I go do I next best. I do I next best. I farm gang. I go stop work for them, man, because it look like, say, he just pay a rocket and reach an eye pocket. Mm. And he said, I go to Merrimack and I put on eye cap. Which them time they did young, I didn't even know him at all about cap, because it was a long way before we learned about <laughs> publishing. We wish Supercat success in all of his endeavors. If you've listened to us this far, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Turn your notification bell on to receive future posts on Caribbean celebrities. One love.